The Constrainer is one of my absolute favorites. It's basically a weld gun and it comes in seven key modes. It also has an extra grip attached at the end. The first mode tethers objects together. You can commit some serious human rights violations to Ford. My favorite thing to do is to create swings. Just by attaching this object to a tree, we can then jump on it and balance on top of it and swing around. Because the roofs in Bone Lab are physical objects, we can just attach it to our sledgehammer. Thanks to Amnu on my Discord for showing me this. We can then use it as a giant swing. The second mode welds objects, so they are completely stuck together. It suspends them in midair and they will not move. I was making a quick holder for my sledgehammer swing. We can even use it to make a ramp. You could build an entire parkour map doing this. I couldn't resist trying to drive off. You can attach swords to the front of your go-kart. It even includes guns. I put these two together. It makes it so much easier reloading two guns. I decided to add a bayonet to my N16. It's especially helpful in those close encounters. Let's weld some Wolverine claws to our hands. The ball socket is a joint in which the rounded surface of the object moves within a depression of another object. It allows greater freedom of movement than a tether. I thought I would try and build my own car with it. I can guarantee you there is a way better way of doing this, but it was worth a try. Elastic creates a line that resumes its normal shape spontaneously after being stretched or compressed, as demonstrated on this baseball bat. I created a spear and shield combo. A lot of times in Bone Labs, you lose your sharp weapons because you attack someone and it gets stuck in them. This meant it would always be with me, but I could also throw it out. By welding the spear to the ground and then tethering the ball to the spear with the elastic setting, I was able to create a totem pole. Entangle rotation allows a single point of an object to spin continuously without becoming tangled on the rotation axis. The entangle velocity is the same as rotation, but just on the velocity of the object.
The rotation and velocity tethers are a bit complicated, but I'm sure somebody will figure out a really good use for them. And one of the most important ones, the remover. The dev manipulator. You can pick a group of objects up with it. You can shoot objects across the whole map as well. You can use it while you're in the go-kart to fly. With enough practice, you can do some controlled flips and some uncontrolled ones. You can also use it to fly on objects you spawn. This one is a bit tricky though, but with enough practice, I've seen some people do it really well. It creates a magic carpet. And of course, it's great to use in bowling. The gravity cups let you climb. When you pull the trigger, they stick together. When you're in a tricky situation, you can just climb out of it. To be honest, I wish you could just do this without the gravity cups, which is why I'm really waiting for another Spider-Man mod. I'm climbing, and then next thing you know, I've been doing it for so long, I'm on the roof. It actually is really fun. Thought I'll jump off and do a quick trick shot. The gravity plate is a dev tool that can attach to any physics object, greatly reducing the grabbed object's weight and gravity. Multiple plates will stack up the effect. Despite the rarity in-game, it is commonly used by nobodies in the construction of MythOS and is a handy tool for moving heavyweight objects in the universe. You can actually use it as an extra grip for your gun. It helps a lot manage the recoil. I couldn't resist throwing one out and then trying to jump on it. You could see I really wasn't anticipating the zero gravity effect there. In combination with the power puncher, I realized you could actually fly with it. And you could keep this going for quite a while and generally go in the direction you want. Pretty cool. And the most important one, the spawn gun. If you click B, you can also remove objects with it. I love the new design and there's a new feature where you can add objects to your favorites. You can spawn and remove objects on demand. This gun is one of Bone Lab's best features. I thought I would make a quick domino map. The Nimbus gun is a dev tool that allows for uninhibited movement through levels. If you click B, it becomes no clip. I'm really glad they added the two features in where you can have no clip and not no clip. In Boneworks, when you were doing things always in no clip mode, it did get a bit difficult. If you use two, you double your speed. Oh look, I found an extra keycard on top of this statue on Tuscany. There's also a Truman Show Easter egg on this side of the map. I tried no clipping through, but I couldn't seem to find anything else in there. It's fun just seeing maps from the devs' perspectives. It also works with other objects. You can do some sick burnouts in the go-kart. The board gun. Its main use is to block off doors in the zombie mode. However, if you start playing with it, I thought it would be really cool to build a wall and then drive through it. 
I then realized you could use it to start building bridges. The wood wasn't really strong enough, so I wanted to build a really big bridge and then think about what kind of support structures I would need to sustain the bridge. I started building a truss system to balance the load. It looks like it's working, but from what I found it had absolutely zero impact on the wood. You can also use it as stilts. They break very easily though. I want to build a whole map of just walkways and you can go around places just with wooden bridges. They just break too easily though. You can also start to build houses and even rooms in the Tuscany map. I built this tiny room just to test it out. I then wanted to build a really big bridge across a whole map. I started building the first section with a proper truss system and it started looking pretty cool. The Power Puncher is a dev tool that functions as a large mechanical fist. It allows you to punch with incredible force. It is primed by holding a trigger and has enough power to launch any physics objects. It can absolutely yeet forward across the map. It's great for bowling as well. The balloon gun is a special physics gadget that spawns an attached balloon to whatever its trace hits. These balloons provide upwards lift and can be destroyed easily with force. You can even use it on yourself. You can really start to feel the upward gravity when you're jumping. It makes climbing and trick shotting way easier. You roll the dice and you get assigned a random peasant body. I haven't really found any uses for this one though. 